uh, how do we, what should we do to start this I, part I, of I the... I think to start this episode, you should do your impression of what you think a punk sounds like. Well, uh, that's true. But I don't want to do that in front of the paywall. So I guess this has to be kind of more of a... Oh, uh, you got people to pay pay to punk. Yeah, we're not going to... I mean, it's pay what you can, as long as that is at least $5. Um, and there's no <laughs> guest list, I think. It's mm, kind of yeah, the, I think you're right. I, I think you're right. Yeah, no, no guest list. I'm going to definitely... I think the idea of asking for a guest list when you come back, uh, when shows come back, is good. I, in fact, the first show that I kind of wanted to go to... In Toronto, it's happening on Friday. It's stuck out here playing at the Bovine, and I fucked up and I didn't buy tickets in advance, and uh, it sold out because capacities are reduced. Also, they're great. That makes it sound like I'm not giving them any credit. Don't know who that is. Probably. And then I literally messaged probably and I was sucks. like, "Yo, can I get can I get guest list?" <laughs> Did you get it? No. Oh, what? Wait, were denied. you ghosted? Denied or ghosted? Uh, uh, I was, I was ghosted. Now I asked, I literally asked for like to pay guest list cause I'm not a full on dick, but it's still get like, you're still asking for a hookup. I don't know? even really know who you're talking about. So like what level, like how much are these tickets we're talking about here? I mean, it was like a 10, $10 ticket. Okay. Well that, I feel like paying for guest list is at that point is kind of even more insulting. Really? <laughs> right. I should just be asking for guest list. Maybe yeah, that was at it. that point. You don't like... need your fucking ten bucks, you piece of shit. <laughs> but yeah, fully, fully ghosted. Fully, fully ghosted Damn. in my attempt to, to see live music again. Yeah, I, I feel like it, no. I'm gonna be doing punk impressions alone in my in my house. I feel like uh, you know. Have you ever have you been to many shows where it says like pay what you can or whatever or everyone gets in for free? I feel like it's more of a. Real denied for lack of funds. It's, I mean, yeah, like there used to be like wavelength. I feel like you're, you're the shows that you go to probably have like square card readers at the at the door. (laughs) Yeah, like let's be honest. Like, (laughs) I I, like aspirationally, like I see a lot of shows that say no one denied for lack of funds, but do I go to those shows? No, I mean, I don't really go to any shows at all, but I've definitely been to my share of shows that say that, but I would never pay less. I'm I'm making myself sound fucking uncool. No, I mean, you would not because you're not a dick. I, it's just too awkward. Like, I, I mean, it's not even that I'm not a dick. It's like I would love to pay less, but I don't know. It's too awkward. I would love I, to be I, like, I, I'm, I do not have the funds for this because I would like to buy some new Nikes instead. <laughs> yeah, I need a new <laughs> iPhone, right? That was always what would happen. Like, Wavelength, which is like a very iconic Toronto music series, used to be every Sunday at Ted's and then at Sneaky D's. And it was a big part of the Torontopia movement in local indie rock that I know you and, and I love so well. And it was always pay what you can. That was the whole deal. But you just, by the end, because it was such a, like, scene fucking thing, you just had people showing up and being like, I'm sorry, I can't afford it. And then just, like, drinking all night with their friends. And Sick. Like, hmm, yeah, the system, the system does not always work, <laughs> you know? Well, anyways, uh, I don't know what any of this has to do with the fact that we are going to watch. We're talking punk. We're talking punk as usual. It. It's a podcast about punk songs. We're doing homework month, but we already watched all of the homework punk content on Twitch last year. So instead, we're going to watch some punk impression videos from YouTube. Of course, I'm going to do my new Sclusi, uh segment. And I don't know if Sam has come up with a new segment for himself, but you know, there's always room for that. And mm. uh, all this is available. Pay what you can. $5 United States dollars. Uh, pay that, please. Using your credit card or PayPal, maybe. Patreon.com slash 155pod is where you go. Pay what you can. No one turned away for lack of funds as long as they are As long as it's more than $5. As, exactly. Uh, so, yeah. we're, so let's go behind the paywall now and you want me to do an impression of what I think a punk sounds like. 